Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I will show how you can create a C++ app where you use strings as a, a to switch. So when you make the switch function in C++, you can out of the box don't use strings because strings is not a data type. C++ and C uh, is recognized so you need to work around c++ understand string but it's the character in in an array so out of the box you can use a switch but i will show you a way i found a, a, around this issue and it's look like it's working pretty well so you are you're welcome to to sitting and, and listen this uh, this question is, is coming from one of my followers and thank you for, for your question because out of your questions I've not thinking about it so it's it's good to, to learn new for me too so it's very interesting thank you so let's uh, beginning I need to say we want to use the namespace std first and then I want to build a namespace choose and in my choose, I will work with enum and I will call it option. In my option, I will have a option invalid. I'll have my option one, option two. When I have this creating it, I need a function to where I can say this function is the part of my option. And when you uh, send inside a string, I expect it's return an option uh, um, data type. So let's say that choose and option. And then we build the function. And input inside if input is equal to option one, choice option, option one, and I will repeat this one more time. Say if it's option two, let's repeat this and option two else I want to return invalid data whoops if I'm running this you can see it's happened nothing it's just hello world here so let's continue to the magic down here I want to say is a string input because because I'm right now don't listen on, on nothing about it so the first input variable should be option one option minus one and then we want to make a switch it should be on resolve option let's copy this it should be on input and if we don't have anything, I want to say that. So, option invalid, wrong, wrong, option input, end line. And I want this my way. So, let's see this, this beginning to take something. Yeah, wrong option. Good. But what we know is the option one is correct because input option, input is equal to option one and then we return this one. So let's see if the switch return choose option and then option one, you should 
tell me that and break after so we say option one hit by input option one succeeds and I need this one more for option two and option one hit by input option one succeeds and that's correct so let's try out number two it's correct too let's try based on option three should giving an error and it does wrong option input that's how you're working with the options uh, sorry with the strings in a switch it's a little bit more work if you know about uh, PHP and JavaScript and Python and yeah all the script language then you see this way it's it's more work for you but that's the way you can use your strings in a switch in C++ if you enjoy this video I hope you want to subscribe my channel if you have any questions, please make the comments below. I will try to answer when, when I get time. And I hope you want to uh, add my video to your to, uh, playlist and share it with your friends. Thank you and hope you subscribe. See you next time.